Hi guys, so I'm actually doing a double whammy YouTube video recording session now because I've just went through my phone recording the last video about me moving into my studio which you can see wherever in the description or a pop up, I, I don't know which one happens, I don't know. Um, and I found all the footage from Glasgow, now I thought I lost this footage and it was basically just a Glasgow vlog, um, I took my sketchbook, my pens, we went to some museums and stuff. So this video is going to be my Glasgow trip and uh, this was actually recorded in March and it is now May. But I thought I lost the footage, so here it is. I found the footage, it was in a separate folder on my phone, and an idiot. It is recorded on my iPhone, so the quality is not going to be absolutely amazing, but it's just going to be like my London vlog. So hopefully, you enjoy it. Have fun, guys! I hope you enjoy it and you get some inspiration from it. Love you, bye! Hi, guys, so we are traveling to Glasgow today, and I thought I would bring you with me because um, a lot of people said the light the London travel vlog that I did so I'm gonna bring you along in Glasgow it's the first time that I've ever been to Glasgow and um, I've been to Scotland before and Edinburgh quite a few times and it is my favorite city so I'm really really excited to go the reason we're going to Glasgow is because we're going to see um, an artist called Anne Marie and she's a singer in the UK and she is absolutely amazing so I'm really really excited we're going for two nights and we also have some galleries planned um, I really want to get to the portrait uh, museum so hopefully we're going to go there so I'll show you there as well and stuff like that and go to nice coffee shops and basically just do holiday things I also want to find that supply store because I fancy trying out some gouache um, or gouache, how do you say it? gouache, gouache um, I fancy trying some of that out so I want to go buy some from somewhere but nowhere around here really does it so I'm sure Glasgow has a big art supply store so yeah I'll see you soon I love you okay I love you bye 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 in the Premier Inn and it's wicked. We're gonna have a cup of tea. Dean say hi. We're gonna have a cup of tea and then we're gonna go for food again. More food. <laughs> Bye.
Hi guys, so we've just got back to our room. I am so tired. Today went really, really, really well. I'm so sleepy and hungry now. Uh, Anne-Marie was amazing and the museum was amazing. Um, we ended up spending a lot more time in there than we thought because there was just so much to do. Uh, so tomorrow, I think we're going to go halfway home and spend the day somewhere halfway because it takes about 3 hours 45 minutes to drive home so we're going to split our journey up hopefully go to a cute cafe and maybe a gallery or something um, we didn't manage to get time to go to the lighthouse we really wanted to go to the lighthouse because it was recommended to us and also Willow Tea Rooms got recommended and we did pass it but we were going to be late for Anne-Marie so we ended up just rushing to Anne-Marie after the museum uh, I went to a craft and no sorry I went to an art store which was really really good and I got some goodies so at the end of this video I'll do a little haul when I'm back home and show you the goodies that I got because I also got some griff wrap which you'll have seen when I was in Waitrose which will be used for my backdrops for my product photography and stuff like that which if you haven't seen I did some videos about how I make photo boards go check them out shameless plug uh, but yeah today was really really fun i hope you're enjoying this vlog so far i can't even be bothered to keep the <laughs> to keep the camera held up because i'm that tired we've been out all day um and yeah we had a lot of fun loads of fun loads of fun i really love glasgow it's amazing i wish i could have seen more of it next time um because we ha had booked to go see Anne marie um we didn't um end up exploring Glasgow as much as we would have liked so I'm definitely going to come back here because Edinburgh is one of my favourite cities and now Glasgow is catching up there but I didn't get to see as much as I wanted to see so I'm going to order a takeaway to the room because everywhere is shut at the minute and I'm going to get my PJs on and take all this makeup off because it has been on since this morning and I am knackered so yeah I'll see you later guys love you bye love you bye love you Glasgow vlog so here I am I actually got back from Glasgow uh, last week and I'm just uploading this vlog now um, and I thought I would show you the little art supplies and the goodies that I bought in Glasgow at the Cass Art Supply Store it was a really cute store I bought some gouache 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 I don't know how you say it properly. So you've probably seen when I was in Waitrose, I picked up two gift wraps. This one and this one, which I think will make really, really cute photo background, like backdrops. I'm always on the lookout, even no matter where I go, just for things like this, because um, I think that'll be a really cute background. In fact, I've used it once already and it did make a cute background. So here is what I bought from Cass Art. They also have an online store. So you can go buy stuff. Don't you just love it when it's in like packaging like this? I love it. What else did I get? I actually forgot what I've got. Oh, oh, oh. So, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I also picked up this, which was basically how they were founded. How cute's that? I really like the hand lettering on it. 
that was just at the counter. So I was going to buy some professional gouache, gouache, but I ended up buying the this Reeves set just for now because it was super cheap. It was nine ninety five, and the other one was about twenty five quid for a set of like prime colours. Um, so I thought I might as well. I know beginner paint sets and stuff like that aren't the best quality but because I am literally a beginner using these and it's the first time I'm using them I thought I'll just buy this and experiment with them and see if I like it before I get the professional grade ones because I might waste my money and not like them at all and not enjoy painting with them so there's no point splurging out on professional gouache when I don't know if I like it or not. So that's the paints that I bought. Then I treated myself to a Lectrum sketchbook. Now I've realised that it is in white and I carry my sketchbooks with me in my bag a lot of the time. So I don't know how clever this is going to be. But it has got like a kind of leathery type of... Um, surface so I'm hoping it'll clean okay. I really want to put a really cute sticker on the front here. I like it quite minimal so I'm just going to put one sticker on the front and I can't wait to use this because I did used to have a Midori sketchbook which was um, partially cotton paper and it was amazing to illustrate on and I absolutely loved how the pens um, looked in the sketchbook and then I went back to a cheap sketchbook and I didn't like it as much. The paper was too coarse and so I'm hoping this will be nice. It was quite expensive for in terms of sketchbooks but I really do think they're lovely quality and they're great for planning so I bought one of them. And what did I buy in here? Let's tip these out. So I bought another brush marker, I'm nearly complete with all these, I've nearly got all of these pretty much. And this one is in the colour Cloud Blue. Now I have Denim Blue and Pebble I think it is, but my hand's shaking like crazy, look at that. But that's it, and it's a brush tip, and then a chisel lip tip, chibba chip chip, a chibba chip chip. But yeah, so basically I got a brush marker to add to my massive collection and then I got three new pencils now I normally use Faber-Castell pencils but I thought I would try these the first one is in like this lilac-y pink colour I think can you even see that hello this is by Derwent Pro Colour in the colour Heather and it's like this nice lilac colour and I might do a review. Let me know if you want me to do a review of these supplies. Oh, God, the postman just came and scared the life out of me. So yeah, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my travel vlog. Let me know if you like to see my vlogs. And I'll do more of them. I'm out of breath just from running down the stairs. Because um, I really enjoy doing travel vlogs because it's also fun for me to look back on in the future. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye, love you, bye.